Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be talking about inequalities. What are the basics of inequalities? Well, they're based off these Boolean symbols that indicate whether one value is greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to another value. Usually the, the larger end of this thing points to the larger number or value and the smaller point points to the smaller end. Okay. So there are two different types, main types, uh, and one is linear. The highest power of x is one in your inequality, and you know it's like three x plus one is less than four. Those are pretty straightforward. You just solve for x, okay? Uh, Nonlinear, it gets a little bit more complicated. You have to use a, a a process called sign analysis. So let's look at linear first. Linear, you like I said before, you just solve for x, and you're good to go. Uh, make sure that you remember whenever you either a multiply or divide by a negative number or if you flip both sides of the inequality you have to change the direction of the sign so in other words less than uh, should become greater than or uh, you know should switch to greater than so switch to less than whatever it is okay just change the direction the other type uh, is nonlinear of which we're first going to discuss the ones that have a power of x greater than 1 so like x squared minus 2x minus 15 first make sure it's less than 0 if there's anything besides a 0 move it over and then after that factor and solve and get your cut points okay these cut points are going to be uh, our main breaking points for our domain or our answers to these questions so uh, you're going to plot these points on a number line and you're going to test on either side of a point by plugging these test points here into your function okay and if your question's asking for uh, you know where where is it less than zero you would take all of your uh, regions that had a, a minus sign if it was greater than zero it would be a plus sign okay uh, if it was a greater than or less than sign you use parentheses uh, and if it's equal included, we have to use a bracket. Br bracket means up to and including. Parentheses means uh, not including. Okay. Uh, so then the last type we're going to look at it's also a sign analysis type problem in which you have to do the number line is when you have a fraction and an inequality all right so learn these rules for inequalities they'll show up again when you're being asked domain questions because for instance a domain uh, of a radical it has to be positive right well how do we say that mathematically greater than or zero or greater than or equal to zero depending on whether or not it's in the denominator so either way, uh, if we have a fraction and an inequality, we set the top, the numerator equal to zero and the denominator equal to zero, solve and get our cut points. We plot these points on the number line, open dot means not including, and if there was no equal sign, close dot would include it. Do your test points in the function, both the numerator and denominator, and you know just answer accordingly. If it's plus, minus, plus, uh, and the question is greater than zero, you would only pick the plus areas for your answer. All this will be apparent once you watch the example videos. Now, even if you have an equal sign, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, the cut point from the denominator gets an open dot no matter what, because you can never equal zero in the denominator. So it should always be a parentheses when we're dealing with uh, a, a uh, cut point in the denominator, okay? I hope I've clarified the concept of how to deal with inequalities. Practice, practice, practice. Check out the example videos. Thank you and have a nice day.